Good day and welcome back to Coach Greg. Today we are going to be looking at different grips and different stances and how they can affect the way in which you play the ball and affect where we're going to hit. The first grip we're going to be looking at is a conventional grip. If we look closely, both hands are forming a V. The hands are barely touching each other on the grip. They're near the middle of the handle itself and then both V's in the hand are pointing down the back V of the bat. This is for a player that feels that they're going to score in all the areas but not be overly dominant in one. The next one we are going to be looking at is having the blade more open within the grip itself. So this is where the V's on the back of the hand are pointing more towards the edge of the bat more than down the middle of the back of the bat. So if we look at it from the back, all of a sudden we can see this V is running more down there, even closer to the edge. This is to enable more offside orientated cricket with the occasional push into the leg side, but you are negating some of your leg side power with it. Next up, we are going to be looking at more of a closed bat face. It's still hands in the same area as with the first two, but the V in the hands is now pointing towards the other edge of the bat. If we look here, it is now pointing more towards the inside edge of the bat, and this is to enable more power straight and into the leg side. The next grip we are going to be looking at is the wide-handed grip. If we look closely, the hands or the gloves aren't touching each other. They're a little bit apart, but at the same time, the V's in the gloves are going down the middle of the back of the bat. So if we look from the back, you can see a nice straight line there. This grip is used more to bunt the ball straight down the ground or to play some cross bat shots like a cut, pull or a sweep. The next one we're going to be looking at is the hands very close together. So there is definite contact between the two. Not a light contact with the first couple where the fingers are actually pushing against each other. This is to allow your wrists more access through a shot. This is to make more whippy shots, hitting the ball when it's full and whippy when it's short. If we look from the back, we can see that the V is still straight down the middle of the back of the bat and that even from here you can see that the hands are very tight on each other. For all of these you can combine two of them together. So for instance you can have the hands tight together but with more open face or with the more close face. Find what works for you and use that more often than not. But on some pitches you might be forced to change depending on how the pitch reacts to them. We'll now look at the stances. The first stance we're going to be looking at is the feet shoulder width apart. From here this is just generally giving you access to front foot and back foot at the same time. From here you can also open your front foot to allow you more access to the leg side or keep it nice and closed if you're looking to be more offside dominant. If you are struggling with the RBW, make sure that you don't get your front leg in the way. The next stance we're going to be looking at is a slightly wider stance. This stance is used generally when you're looking to go more into a power hitting sort of game as it already allows you access into the ball without having to move again. You are being powerful from your base. Lastly, we are going to be looking at the feet quite close to each other in this stance. This is used to try and generate momentum into a ball. This could be used on decks that are slightly slower so that you can get into it. For all of these stances, you can have your weight set in different places. You can have it set directly in the middle, and then this is you backing yourself forward or back. If you feel that you're good enough on the back foot and you're struggling a bit on the front foot, you can shift your weight slightly forward as this preempts the front foot shot, but still allows you access into the back foot shot. Or conversely, you can be set slightly further back in the stance. This is to try and give yourself some momentum into the ball. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that it has given you some more options with which to use a general starting point to get more access to a cricket game. If you did enjoy this, please leave a comment below and tell us which one of the stances or grips you personally use or prefer. Remember to leave a like and also please subscribe to this video as you can get more of this content as it comes out. And also share it with your friends so they can join our family too.